I'm going to talk about a product which is a secret gem of mine and I don't usually share. Hey guys, it's Nem and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do the best of MAC Cosmetics. I'm sure you guys already know, but I used to work at MAC, so my knowledge on all the products is pretty much there. I pretty much know everything about every single MAC product. These I've broken down into what I believe is the best MAC makeup that you can find um, from them. Of course, they have so many other great products, but these ones are like the top best ones that I recommend for you guys. So grab a snack or a hot drink or even wine or champagne because it is gonna be a little bit of a lengthy video because I'm gonna dive straight into all the products and pretty much breaking them all down. So I'm gonna dive straight into two powders. We have two right here. We have the Mineralized Skin Finish and the Studio Fix Powder. I'm gonna talk about both and then you guys can decide which one would be better suited for your skin. So I'm gonna start off with Mineralized Skin Finish. So the Mineralized Skin Finish Powder is basically a sheer to medium coverage powder. It's slow baked so it's one of those baked powders and it's a really really fine formula it's finely milled it's a super super soft buttery powder as you can see it melts into the skin really nicely this one i absolutely love i actually have it on today this one i love for just giving me the most smoothest finish if i don't want something too full coverage then i'll go in with something like this because i can use a full coverage foundation and then go lighter on the powder or even on lighter days where i want to set my skin with a little bit of powder but I don't want to use something heavy like Studio Fix. I'll go into the mineralized powder. You can see it gives a really smooth flawless finish. This is one of my holy grail powders. I love my Studio Fix but the Studio Fix is actually classed as a powder foundation so I like going for this more for every day, more for just giving me a soft blurred look. I absolutely love this powder and I have it in the shade Light Plus. They have a, a good range to choose from and I would highly recommend this for like an everyday powder powder it's just going to give you the most velvety finish on the skin and the studio fix powder is basically classed as a powder foundation where you can use it as foundation or you can actually use it as a setting powder as well with this one i would say it is very full coverage it is very matte i think if you suffer with oily skin if you have a lot of acne that you want to cover or you just have a lot of maybe redness that you really want to cover up then I would go for something like this. This like I said because it's a powder foundation be mindful that it's quite heavy on the skin so use a light amount but this when I tell you just looks amazing as well on top of foundation. You can use a sheer foundation and then build up the coverage with the Studio Fix powder or you can use a full coverage foundation and a full coverage powder like this and then you're just gonna get a full glam beat. The great thing about MAC's powders is that they're not powdery whatsoever. I do find this is definitely a little more matte. If you have oily skin this will save your life. It's very oil controlling. So that's the Mineralized Skin Finish and Studio Fix powder. Next we're gonna go on to one of my favorite products ever and these are blushes by MAC. I have a few shades that I want to share with you guys because I have a ton of MAC blushes but but the reason I decided to talk about the MAC blushes and put them literally up there on the list of best MAC products ever is because these are so buildable and natural and they just look so nice on the face. They just look so nice on the cheeks. It gives you a little flush of colour and I love that there's five different finishes. You get satin, you get matte, I think you get like a frost finish as well. You have so many different finishes and so many different shades of the MAC blushes. The one I'm wearing today is actually becoming one of my favourites really quickly and it's gingerly and it's this one that I have on my cheeks today. It's a very neutral blush. As you can see it is the most perfect neutral blush ever. It's almost like a bronzer brown kind of blusher. The reason I absolutely love these blushes as well is because of how buildable they are. You can literally just go in with your brush, apply it to the cheeks and it gives you the most softest wash of colour on the cheeks and it looks so natural. Or you can build it up and then you can do a little bit more of an intense blusher. Two peachy blushes that I recommend. Um, in my last video I was wearing the Peaches blusher which is a nice bright peach and it's not super bright, it's just the right amount of peachiness. Also Melba, if you find that this is too bright, 
um, especially if you're of a fair skin tone and you find that it's almost too orangey. You can go for Melba, which is more toned down. It is also a peach blusher, but you can see it's within the same family, but just more toned down. And then two other shades I want to talk about is within the pink family. And this is Breath of Plum, which you guys know is my ride or die blusher. I've hit pan on it. I need to buy another one. This is the best blush in the entire world. This one would sue deeper skin tones really, really nicely. Another blusher for deeper skin tones is Raisin. That one's a great one for you. But Breath of Plum, oh my God, on like chocolate skin. Oh. I always used to do it on my clients, on my customers um, who have a deeper skin tone. Breath of Plum, even on me, because I'm fair, this is my favourite blusher of all time. It's a mauve pink. I don't know what it is. It's almost like a purple blush. I don't know what it is about this blusher, but it just makes my makeup come alive. And then another one I recommend is Mocha. This is, again, kind of like Breath of Plum, but a toned down version of it. Let's talk about concealer. And this one is literally Tarte Shape Tape before Tarte Shape Tape even existed. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It is also my ride or die concealer. I have it in the shade NC20. This one is the most full coverage concealer, but it's so lightweight. It is so interesting, the formula. It's almost hydrating under the eyes as well. It's not this full coverage matte concealer like Tarte Shape Tape is, even though that's great. This one is a matte finish and it's full coverage but the consistency is different. It's not a thick concealer. It is the most lightweight concealer, but giving you the full coverageness as well. You literally need one pump and I'm gonna show you. It almost feels like a gel. It feels super, super creamy and moisturizing. You can see how full coverage it is, but you can even see, I'm sure just by me rubbing it in, how lightweight, and just moisturizing it is. It is just one of the best concealers I've ever come across. Pro long wear concealer. It's also very long wearing. I believe it claims up to 24 hours, which who's gonna wear their makeup for 24 hours? But it does last a really long time. It doesn't settle into fine lines, into creases. I never, ever, ever crease with this concealer. It's almost self-setting as well. It dries to a soft matte finish. So you wouldn't even need to set it with powder. However, I still normally do. But this is just a great, great, great concealer to try out if you haven't before. I'm going to talk about a product which is a secret gem of mine and I don't usually share. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pens. It says highlighter, but there's no shimmer in them. These are legit my secret weapon when it comes to makeup. So these are basically, you could call it a concealer, but it's like the YSL Touche Clap pens. It's like that, but it's MAC's version. My favorite shade is Light Boost. I also have Radiant Rose. I'm gonna show them side by side, but it's a highlighting cream pen, like a twist up. Oh my God, mine is like gross but this is what it looks like you twist up from the bottom this one is light boost and it's a soft yellow cream and i'm just gonna show you look at that this when you blend it out you're gonna see how sheer it is but it also gives a really smooth brightness so the prep and prime highlighter pen is basically a brightening pen. So if you do concealer, you can put this on afterwards. I'm actually wearing it today. I'm using Radiant Rose and this just brightens your concealer or your under eyes further. I have Radiant Rose on my under eyes right now, which is a pale pink. So I'm going to do a little side by side. I'll do it here. This one, as you can see, it's quite pink. That's Radiant Rose. And then Light Boost is a soft, creamy yellow. And look how beautiful those are. I actually like to mix both. So I'll do a few little stripes of Light Boost and then a few little stripes of Radiant Rose and blend them out. And it just gives me the most neutral brightening effect under the eyes. It gives you a smooth under eye and it's a very thin texture. I literally live by these and swear by these. And if you can see my under eye is bright, it's because I'm using the, the Radiant Rose. The next product I want to talk about is Face and Body Foundation. This one is one of like the best foundations that MAC has come out with. It doesn't break you out. It goes for every single skin tone and it's a really buildable foundation. Now it is claimed to be a very sheer skin-like finish foundation. 
it is almost like a watery sheer foundation it's not going to give you too much coverage but it gives you enough to the point where it just looks natural and looks skin like it's going to cover in the right places if you have a lot of redness oh my god it evens it out so much it's called face and body as well because you can put it on the body so if you have discoloration on the body then you can use this foundation because it is for the body as well i have it in 50 mil but they do have a bigger size as well but honestly face and body is just the most skin like looking foundation that i've ever come across it gives you like a second layer of skin it's just amazing it evens out your skin tone and any redness you might have and one that i would also put with the face on body or on its own or with any foundation is max strobe cream i have it in the shade gold light and strobe cream is basically a illuminating moisturizer if you take away the moisturizer and just think of it as an illuminating product you can use this for so many different things it's multi-purpose you can mix it into foundation and it will give your foundation radiance and luminosity you can also use it as liquid highlighter just to give yourself a little bit of a cream and liquid highlight and you can also use it on the body on the collarbone the legs literally anywhere it's not glittery which i absolutely love it's just the softest golden glow i hope you guys can see that i just love how that makes my hand look so pretty should we talk about lipsticks i think that is the number one thing at mac so i'm sure everyone owns at least one mac lipstick in their collection i have like 200 behind me i don't even know i've lost count but the reason i recommend mac lipsticks and put them in the best of mac is because of how many shades they have and finishes they have over 150 shades that is more than any other makeup brand has ever offered they have so many shades for every single skin tone and so many different finishes you have a matte finish you have satin you have cream sheen which is a creamy formula you also have luster and you have amplified cream and i'm sure there's a few others that i'm missing they used to do glaze as well they also have a retro matte which is like super 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 matte my favorite which is the one i'm wearing today is flesh pot it is my holy grail ride or die lipstick i love this stuff so much um, I feel like I can pull off the really like concealer type of nudes. Those are the ones that I really love. Flesh Pot is for my girls out there who love a concealer nude or even just a pinky nude the most perfect one if you are pale then go for this one for someone who is more of a medium skin tone and wants like the perfect pinky nude Brave is a really 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 beautiful shade so it's obviously going to look darker on me because I'm pale but if you are deeper than me this would come up a lot lighter so it is just the perfect um pinky nude on you this one is a satin finish i have kind of sexy which is a really beautiful peach it's a matte finish it's almost like a beige peach oh my god look at kind of sexy and then i have ruby woo i had to show this one it's a classic red and ruby woo is a matte finish as well the most perfect red it's not too pinky it's not too blue based it's the most perfect classic red i believe gwen stefani's like signature lip is ruby woo but these are just a few of the shades that i wanted to show of course there's so many to choose from like i said more than 150 highly recommend mac lipsticks i don't really need to talk about them too much because you guys already know the drill with them a few little items left i'm going to talk about fix plus another bestseller by mac i have the coconut and i actually have it in the old packaging so i use this all the time i love fix plus so much it's a hydrating mist and it also sets your makeup in place it refreshes the makeup this truly refreshes your face and i don't know what it does but it almost like touches up your makeup and fixes it oh that's why it's called fix plus oh my god Okay, that just like blew my mind. Is that why it's called Fix Plus? I think it is. I should know this. Yes, so it's like a fixer spray. It fixes your makeup. And the thing that I love about it the most is how refreshing and hydrating it is. It's so cooling. It smells really nice. I mean, I have the coconut one, but the original one smells really nice. And they also have matte. So for my oily girls out there, you guys would love the matte because when I was working at MAC, I tried the matte out and it was too matte for me. But for my colleagues who had oily skin, oh my God, I did not see their oils come through throughout the whole day. So I would recommend the matte for you guys that are oily 
oily. It also has chamomile, um, green tea and cucumber, which gives you great benefits for the skin as well. Last but not least, a product that I don't think a lot of people talk about is the MAC Eye Primer. This is the 24 hour extend eye base. This one is the eye primer to get. Now, this one is almost like a silicone feel and it is clear so it doesn't cover your eyes or give you coverage like the paint pots do. It just intensifies your eyeshadow to the point that like I've never seen it be that intense before and it's 24 hour wear. Your eyes do not crease, it doesn't go patchy, it doesn't start to fade away throughout the day. You can see the difference with the primer, it goes on super smooth gives you a nice rich color payoff and then this is without the primer. If I'm going out all day or I'm doing a super bright look and I want it to just stay and be intense, this is the best eye primer ever, um, the 24 hour extend eye base. I have two honorable mentions that didn't make it to like the best of MAC in my personal opinion, but they are pretty much up there as well. One is Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. It is the most natural matte full coverage foundation ever. Like it is the most perfect full coverage foundation. It's not too heavy. It's not too cakey. I think a lot of people go heavy handed with it. And with Studio Fix Fluid, you need a tiny amount. That is the trick to making that product work. You're supposed to build up that foundation. A lot of people, when they used to come in, I heard that they were telling me they just went straight in like with their brush and just put it on and it looked cakey and they didn't use the right powder to set afterwards. So maybe throughout the day, their oils would come through. You have to, you, you have to know how to use that foundation. So I think if you are a beginner, maybe stick with face and body. But if you know about makeup and you've used makeup for ages, then I would go for Studio Fix Fluid, but either use it with a beauty blender and just pounce it into the skin and just take time blending it out and then go in with your best powder, your best concealer. Or you can use a synthetic brush, but don't go so heavy straight away. Start with a little bit and then if you feel like you need more, then build it up. Studio Fix Fluid is also one of the best foundations because it photographs really well. If you're in studio lighting, if you're doing a photo shoot, um, weddings, anything like that, it photographs so beautifully. Like it almost looks like you have a filter on your skin and then another honorable mention that i wanted to talk about are highlighters the extra dimension skin finish highlighters my favorite one is whisper of guilt which is the one i'm wearing today so if you like this little glow happening it's this one it's kind of broken Ugh. beautiful gold highlight and i absolutely love this stuff oh my god it just melts into the skin look at that this definitely is an honorable mention because of how how much it melts into the skin. It doesn't look glittery, it's not powdery. It's the most beautiful wet kind of highlight that you will ever come across. Another shade I absolutely love is Beaming Blush. This is more of a rose gold highlighter. So you can see it's not quite gold, it almost shifts pink like that. So that one is Beaming Blush. And then last but not least, one that I love as well, which is great for if you want a really intense bright highlight. This is Double Gleam. Double Gleam is like a white gold. This one is like, oof, intense. So that is pretty much all the MAC products I wanted to talk about. Of course, there are so many that I literally could ramble on about, but then this video would be too long. And then I would end up probably saying that every product is amazing. So there are some like misses from MAC. There are some things that are quite bad, but these are like the ones that I would say are probably the best um, at MAC. I would love to know what you guys love from MAC. Let me know down below. What are your like holy grails from MAC? Something that you've tried, something you haven't tried, what you guys have tried in this video. If you guys haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm here for you every single week. So I hope you guys are all staying safe and keeping busy. And until next time, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.